When I first moved into my house, I had a small, narrow, long living room that fit a TV in the corner. It was functional, it was okay, but it wasn't the living room of my dreams. There was no way I could up the size of my TV in that space. After years of saving and planning, I eventually managed to extend the house and reconfigure the space to be the living room of my dreams. I thought I'd give you a little tour. So here we are, this is the new living room space and we'll come on to the gadgets and tech in a minute, but just so you can see the new shape, it's more of a square than it was before, before it was rectangular. And this is where the TV used to sit. You can see we've now completely reconfigured it. So this is, this is my pride and joy. I originally had the Hisense TV that was sent to me to review and that was okay, but I really wanted a top-notch TV. This is the LG C8 and I absolutely love it. It was very much worth saving up and getting and it's still a great TV today. I really love it because it is wafer thin. It's got all the streaming services I need built in. The picture quality is incredible. It's great for films, TV, gaming as well. It's got absolutely everything you need, loads of inputs. I've got that hooked up via HDMI arc to my Sony amp. The included little magic remote was a brilliant addition. It allows you to wave this around without having to press buttons and you can select the items on screen. It also has the voice control built into this. So long hold this down and say, what films has Keanu Reeves been in? And it will return the films and you can then go and watch them. You can then also hold it down and ask follow-up questions because this uses the Google Assistant. So you could then ask, how old is he? and it will know that you are referring to Keanu Reeves rather than just asking a new question, which is randomly, how old is he? It sits on top of this fantastic cabinet, previously reviewed this. It has loads of great features if you've got a, a fantastic AV setup, loads of space. It has wheels allowing you to pull this forwards a little bit to allow you to get around the back. Cable management built in, airflow built in, all sorts. Now, interestingly, even though this is a fantastic remote, this isn't the remote I use. That brings me to gadget number two, which is my Logitech Harmony Elite Remote. This is absolutely fantastic. I really love this. So you can load up all your devices onto this using the app. It recognizes pretty much every device I've got, and then you can combine them into different activities. So if I hit watch TV, this will turn the TV on. It will turn on my Virgin Media box, which is basically like a TiVo box, and it will set everything to the right channel, turn on my amp, and I'll be watching TV. If I hit Netflix, it will turn off any boxes that are on, such as my Virgin box, and it'll power up Netflix on the TV. Absolutely love this. If you ever see this on sale, go and bag it, and I will put links to all these products in the description below. The TV is plugged into my Sony amp. This is a DN1080, and that powers the Cambridge Audio speakers. I took the opportunity to have two installed up high so you can see just up here we've got one and there's one just there and that gives me three speakers there two there and then i've got the sub woofer just down in the corner there and that gives me a really nice immersive surround sound now the great thing about a good sound system is that if you get it right you don't have to have it loud a loud system doesn't necessarily fill the room really well this system doesn't have to be very loud to get it, give you that immersion you hear helicopters whizzing by behind you you hear gunshots flying past you. It's a really great system. If you can get it set up properly, 5.1 really does add that extra bit of immersion. I didn't go with 7.1. I do have a Sony amp that could support it, but I didn't want more speakers bouncing sound off and all that kind of stuff. I think 5.1 is fine. If you've got 7.1 Atmos, then let me know, does it make a massive difference? I've never really tried it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. So down in the corner next to my Subwoofer is my Virgin Media Super Hub 3. I'm on their 200 meg package, which is plenty fast enough for me. I have reviewed lots of routers that are much better than that. The AVM Fritz box blows that out of the water, um, but I didn't want to have to have lots and lots more cables down there. I'd have to put, I'd still have to use the Super Hub, put that into modem mode, and then plug in the Fritz box on top of that. The problem with the Super Hub though is it only has four wired connections, so I've had to install a Netgear 8 port switch that allows me to plug everything in and have a fully wired connection. Supplying the network to my study, my workroom where I edit all my videos, is the recently reviewed Magic Wi-Fi. 
This allows me to have Ethernet over power and it does a great job. It means that I can do all my editing, hit the upload button, and just because I'm in another room, I'm not crippled by slow internet speed. So just over here, just for sentimental value, just get these down so you can see them. These are the Wands Company Doctor Who Sonic Screwdrivers. Now these are sentimental to me because when I first started reviewing, these were some of the first items I ever received for review. So I am a, a Doctor Who fan and I was very pleased, but I was really pleased that they allowed me to review these fantastic replicas. They are actually remote controls as well. If they were powered up and I had them programmed in, I could control the TV, change channels. To be fair, the Logitech does that slightly better. I just have these out on display because they look so good. These are incredibly detailed replicas. The one company unfortunately doesn't make Doctor Who replicas anymore. I also have the Star Trek phase. I don't have the communicator though. So one company, if you're watching and you've got one of those knocking around, feel free to send it me. So one thing you might be able to notice on the TV is the reflection. This is a fantastic TV, but it can suffer from bad reflectivity. So the blacks are very black on it, but you can sometimes not see them because of the light coming in. I've got big bifold windows and the light comes straight in. And that's why I had fitted uh, these special blinds that have the Sumfy motor basically. And that allows me to come into my mobile and hit a button the blinds are now closing and that really takes the reflectivity off. It will also take the light out of this shot. Hopefully, hopefully it's still looking okay. Yes, it still seems to be okay. So that really helps remove the reflectivity and allows me to enjoy a bit of Xbox gaming or film or TV watching or whatever else I'm up to. The one thing you might be surprised to learn is I haven't bothered with smart LED lights. That would cost a fortune and to be honest, all I do is dim these and I've got a dimmer switch at the side. I simply dim those down and get it set up and ready for movie night. I also make use of a Steam Link with this setup. So I've got my Xbox One X and I have a Steam Link which connects to my PC, allowing me to play my Steam library over the network straight on this TV. Now, really interestingly, Microsoft introduced the reverse of that. And if someone's using this, this room and they want to watch some TV, but I want to play on the Xbox, I can power that on and I can play Xbox games over my network on my PC. It's a fantastic setup and it means I can always get my gaming fix. To keep nice and tidy, I have a robot vacuum cleaner that comes on once a day and that's super handy because we have a wooden floor with underfloor heating to keep us nice and toasty in the winter. I've reviewed some of these products before so I've made a special playlist. Go click on that, check out those videos and I'll see you over there.